<laughs> this, is, this is Paul. <laughs> no. no, you're stupid. I redesigned the actual, <laughs> the, the, the farm fish pond. Yes. <laughs> I, I only I only harvest fat fish. Yes, it's designed yes so that as fish get fatter, yes, it harvests from the bottom of the pond instead of trying to harvest it from the top. Yes, and it it, it recycles garbage dumps because um, I would like to know all of the Department of Fish and Game uh, and all of the government agencies and programs. Yes because I'm being obstructed from making some very important innovations. <laughs> now, <laughs> Arizona Department of Agriculture, Animal Services, <laughs> did I ever tell you about how I'd like to get rid of? <laughs> For any individual that has a family pet, and why don't you get me your, <laughs> your pet license in all states of the United States, I'd like to know you. <laughs> If your dog or cat dies, I'm going to offer a free charity to remove them from the actual land of this nation, quite possibly other nations. I'm going to dump them in the ocean. I don't think we should be burying dogs and cats. I, you have a turtle? Well, if it dies, I'm going to want it. <laughs> See, we take an immense amount of food from the ocean, right? We put it uh, on the land. Yes, we feed the population. <clears throat> But instead of taking the dead from the land and putting it in the ocean, the ocean is being deprived of food. Yes. Now, it is. If I added up the total number of actual family pets that have died where you took it to the vet and they said, well, we're going to incinerate it, we're going to cremate it, whatever we're doing with it, that family pet could be food for the, the fish that are in the sea. Now, it's just a little charity. For those that are concerned about the food supply of the ocean. <laughs> now, no, game and fish, I'm telling you, Arizona, I'm absolutely... Oh, look at Department of Justice, Consumer Protection Branch. <laughs> now, these are these are government agencies and programs. <laughs> I'd like to talk to the individuals that are employed in the Department of Justice. <laughs> you know, I sent you an email today. <laughs> no, you know... For whatever's happening involving the executive branch of the United States and all the federal employees that thought they had to know about impeachments or elections or any of the other things that take place, I want to remind you of your actual employment obligations. You know, your job is not to sit there watching television all day wondering what's going to happen. And for any employee of the Department of Justice that has a TV or the availability of surfing the Internet to get the latest about what's going on, it could be that you don't need a computer or a television in your individual offices. <laughs>